What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to tell you guys, just give you guys a little update. I know you guys are looking for that trail cam video. Well, I didn't think about the snow being a possibility of not being able to get where I needed to go uh, this time of year. Welcome to the trail cam series. In this series, I'm going to go over the basics of what I do when I set up trail cameras on public land here in Montana. I'm going to be mostly scouting for elk, but I'm occasionally going to have a buck or two or a couple of bears. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Ah, uh, this time of year. Anyways, here's a picture of me helping some guy from Ohio get unstuck right here. Anyways, that's what ended up happening. I ended up helping a guy from out of state get out of there and I'm already back in town. But today, <clears throat> I'm going back out. And yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy myself. And uh, my wife ended up getting a bow. So I'm gonna set that. We're gonna set that up and get her learning on how to shoot. Sorry about that. Dropped the camera. Anyways, pretty excited about setting that up. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Go check out some of my other videos. I'll have plenty of videos going your way. This is part of the uh, trail cam series episodes. Uh, so don't forget to like them and uh, share them if you will. Uh, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. This page is about hunting. I'm going to set up some trail cams for uh, some bull elk, uh, locating elk. Uh, I love finding elk and mule deer and everything else. Uh, anyways, I mean, you guys seen the intro. That's what I'm about. And yeah, I'll just keep you guys tuned in. But for right now, uh, I'm about to head out on the highway. And I really don't want to uh, be driving, talking to the camera. I know a lot of people do that. I just, I'm not, not a big fan of it. Anyways, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in a minute. What's up, guys? So I didn't even get a check in with you guys to tell you guys what I was doing, but I'm up setting the trail cam. Just walked in here. <laughs> come around the corner and there's a freaking cow elk right there how cool is that <laughs> so i already know that they're in here so now i'm just gonna set a trail cam and walk this tree line right here that goes to this open, open field and uh yeah see what we catch coming through here over the months. But that's, that's so cool. Running into a cow already up here this time of year. Anyways, uh, when I get to the spot, I'll pitch you guys up. I have a huge opening right here. A huge metal. And then through here, I have a tree line, right? So the tree line, I'm going to use as a funnel point to catch elk moving into this meadow because they don't like going out into meadows um, just stepping out. Uh, they like security. So this tree, these trees right here give me security. Those trees right there give me security. Plus there's feed in here. And there's some old elk scat in here. So I set this one camera chest high pointing to that way of this meadow. So when stuff comes through back and forth, I'm gonna catch pictures of it. So Let's see if we get some elk to funnel through here. I've never set a trail camera on this tree ever. Uh, one thing that I do recommend is take some stuff. See that? You know, some of this little stuff and tuck it into your camera 
to give it a little bit of a blend. So one, animals can't really see it. It's a little bit harder. Two, I'm not putting a lock on this. So I don't want somebody coming through and stealing my trail cam. So, and I have other trail cams. I put another trail cam up over another place just in case somebody that's watching this video goes, oh, I know where you put his trail cam. So that is why I put another trail cam in the area so that they can see who's coming and going out of this little funnel right here so that I know uh, if anybody's gonna touch this camera or not. I haven't ran this camera before. This is a new one I just picked up. It's a Bushnell uh, 24 megapixel. Uh, anyways, I'm just gonna grab some more of this stuff. It's kind of hard doing one-handed, but this is just something that I like to do so that people can't see exactly, you know, it's gonna blend, it's gonna blend that strap in. It's gonna blend the camera in and all that good stuff. So uh, anyways, I'm gonna hit it off with that and i'll probably mosey on i just kind of wanted to give you guys a you know a little episode i wasn't planning on coming in here i got a huge rainstorm coming in uh <laughs> like you guys seen i already i just seen a freaking cow elk so i know the elk are already kind of coming in here you know what i mean and it's it's nice seeing cows um but i want to see if there's any uh bulls this time of year funneling through here in velvet which would be cool to see because they're going to want a bed in here so they can overlook this meadow and uh anyways i hope you guys are liking the trail cam series if you haven't yet hit the subscribe button i'm going to set this trail camera up right now i'm probably going to put it on 24 megapixel two burst two picture burst and uh 30 second video and the reason why I'm doing two bursts and not one pitcher is because I know three's kind of overdoing it. And uh, the video kind of, which is cool, is it'll snap a pitcher. So if something sets it off, it takes a pitcher and then takes another pitcher. And so at least I have two pitchers going and then a video. And anyways, when I come back in here and check this trail camera, whenever I get back in here again, I will put those pictures in the video to this trail cam so that you guys can see exactly how I'm, you know, seeing if there's any elk coming through here, which I already know there's elk coming into this meadow because I've just seen one. So anyways, with that said, it's kind of getting late. Big old rainstorm coming in. Clouds are grayer than crap. Um, yeah, anyways, I'm just going to set this trail cam and... I'm going to get out of here as quickly as possible. And then when I come back in, you guys will definitely know. Anyways, hit the subscribe button. If there's any questions that you guys want to know, please feel free to ask me. Um, I set this trail camera, chest high. Uh, the reason why I do chest high is because the elk are bigger animals. And plus, I'm going to catch mule deer and everything. And I really don't want pictures of, you know, the horns cut off and all that and who knows i might have it too too low for this spot and you know, everything might be cut off but the way that i have it said i think i'm going to get their full body in it unless they're up close sniffing the camera uh anyways i hope nobody messes with my cam and it's here when i come back anyways remember when you guys are out in the woods and you're setting trail cameras if you catch a meadow and then you find a green shoot that has some trees around it Try setting your trail camera instead of pointing it out into uh, that opening. For one, the sun's going to go down, and if that can't, your camera is going to catch that sun and it's going to set it off, or your camera is not going to work. Two, if you set your camera going <laughs> going uh, east, it's going to be morning sun's going to hit it. So where I have it, I have it facing north. Or I could have had it facing south, but I kind of wanted some shade. I always like to try doing the shady side of the tree and put, usually I put my camera back in here a ways, but I don't want any of this setting it off. So right here just looked perfect. Uh, anything that comes and goes through this opening, yeah, I'm not getting out there. But the main point is, is I'm not trying to see what's out there. I want to see what's coming through here. I'm trying to scout. I'm trying to figure out what time, time, type of animals are coming through here. And, and by the time I check this camera, usually I do two weeks, but I probably won't be up here for a couple weeks, a couple more weeks. So probably, 
probably a good three weeks this camera's probably going to sit here uh anyways i hope you guys are liking the series please hit the subscribe button like i said if you guys have any questions go ahead put it in the comments below matter of fact give this a like uh more likes i get the better uh it makes my channel i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers i'm going to take you guys on this trail cam series all the way through my scouting series uh scouting season all the way into actually uh hunting elk bugling them i'll go through exactly what i do and techniques and everything but anyways it's i don't want to get it too late it's already getting late uh clouds are already coming in not that i'm scared or anything but if you see i'm in a short sleeve shorts and tennis shoes back in here which i had to walk through a lot of snow just to get in here uh anyways i'm going to finish setting this up i'm going to turn it on make sure everything's good and then i'm just going to bounce i'll talk to you guys when i get back to the truck or i'll just see you on the next one I just want to check in with you guys for a second. <clears throat> Forgot to show you guys. I just climbed through all these snowdrifts and all these trees to drop down into a meadow for a camera. That I seen it. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these videos, and I'll see you on the trail cam return.